Work and play mean the same when you're living in paradise. Side of life, side of life. Oh, welcome to the world that you can make yours. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor here. Please ignore my hair. It's a hard ass mess. But that's because I woke up this morning and I thought, do you know what? I've had some changes and I'm going to update you guys on my skincare routine. Now, if you guys have seen in one of my previous videos where I did my skincare routine, I talked about why I find a skincare routine and just making sure that you're putting that effort into your skin important. And I also talked about why these things are important to me and I went through all of my different products and I've just had some slight changes to what I've been using so it's really early this morning and I've literally I've worked out this morning had a shower and now I'm about to do my skincare routine so I'm just gonna take you guys through the very simple changes and the things that I'm still using so the first thing that I'm still using is the micellar cleansing water and I use the one with the green top because I found out only recently this year and I'm probably really late I actually found out earlier this year that they have different types types of cleansing water depending on what type of skin you have. Now for me, my skin is kind of combination skin. I get quite an oily T-zone but my cheeks can be quite dry. So this one is for combination and oily skin and honestly it's made such a change to how my skin just feels in the morning and at night and to be honest just applying a little bit of cleanser if your skin is feeling a bit oily can just really help mattify your skin and make it feel less dirty because it really is taking off all of that dirt and excess skin off of your face so going in with a cotton pad I'm just going to apply some of this to the whole of my face Now with all of these products, because they are sort of watery or cream based, I really like to let them dry in between putting them on, just so that each product really has some time to do what it's supposed to do. Because I feel like if you rush it and you just start putting everything on, one, you're gonna be left with a really wet looking face and all of your products are just gonna kind of be sitting on top of your skin rather than giving them time to really soak into your skin and start working. So I like to let each thing have a little break and a little rest in between okay so I kept my face cleanser the same because I just love that micellar water and I just feel like Garnier skin active brand they just never let me down so that is a cleanser I have kept with me the whole time but I have changed my face toner now if you guys also saw in a couple videos back I reviewed the KWN naturals skincare brand and their products were really helpful for people who suffer with psoriasis which is me and I can't like using their body bars and all of that stuff have been really helpful on my skin as well as their face bars as well which I've really loved using but they gave me one of their ocean mist face toners and I love this I don't know if it's the smell or if it's just the way that it applies because before my face toner was um the liquid I put it onto a cotton pad and wiped it around my face but this one is a spray so I kind of like it as well as the smell like there's loads of pros to this um and I just really like the way it leaves my skin feeling so this has rose water glycerin organic witch hazel and aloe vera and it says that after using your face cleanser you should shake this bottle and spritz three to five times and then gently pat into the skin so honestly the rose water has such a nice smell and the aloe vera so honestly when you spray it and then you just smell the fragrance as well it's just so amazing plus this dries down really well so it means that I can move on to my next product which is my eye cream now I've stuck with the same eye cream because this one hasn't really let me down it applies nicely the end is like a very small pipette so if you are somebody who likes to maybe apply straight onto your finger and then dab around or apply straight onto your eye either way really works because because of this applicator and it just dries nicely and leaves my eyes feeling really nourished if you're somebody who suffers from dry eyes then really invest in a good eye cream but this one just works well for me so <laughs> 
Now, as much as people would probably apply eye cream for dark circles or bags under their eyes, I do find it a bit strange when people don't apply their eye cream to the top of your eyelids as well. It's really important because, I mean, the top of your eyelid is the biggest part of your eyelids anyway, and it's eye cream, so really work it all the way around your eyes, and you can really give yourself a nice little massage there with just the circular motion and everything, so I love applying eye cream. <laughs> Honestly, I love that part of the routine. So, one of my other changes that I have made is a slight brand change. I've decided to start using some products from the brand The Ordinary, and I mean, one thing you can't get over is the packaging. Like, it's just so cute and uniform, and one thing that they really pride themselves on is their use of hydraulic acid. So, I take a little bit of this serum onto my hands, and again, like, it's a frosted bottle with a little pipette, which I love, because you can just squeeze out how much you want to use and I don't tend to use a lot of this serum because the more that you use it can kind of start foaming up and <laughs> you don't really want that going on so honestly a little bit goes a long way the texture is kind of sticky at first which kind of threw me um, but I literally just apply some onto my fingers and then just gently pat it around my skin I don't like to rub products into my skin if I'm applying them by hand just because then what I tend to feel like happens is you're gonna get more product on your hands than you are on your face. So I really like to just pat these in. And of course, you just can't forget down by your neck. Like, don't forget your neck. The last thing I'm going to use is again from The Ordinary. This is their natural moisturizer. I'm not even gonna lie. This might be my favorite face moisturizer of all time. Like, I've used quite a few, but I think I'm actually making the statement. It is my favorite favorite to you so far the feeling even when i just apply it on my fingers it feels so smooth and then i just apply this to my face and this one i do just slightly rub in texture on my skin is honestly so soft like it's ridiculous it is so soft and it dries down so well like honestly it dries down to the point where for me with somebody with oily combination skin i never want to feel like my skin is too wet like after i use products the last thing i want is for my face to feel wet because then my brain starts thinking that i'm hot and then things start getting sweaty and more oily and all of that is like a catastrophe to me whereas this one really gives you like a dewy look to your skin but just feels so refreshing and to finish my skincare routine with that product is just so nice because it means i can go about my day and just feel like like I've given my skin the care that I need. Now, of course, always gotta put on a lip balm because honestly but that is my updated skincare routine so i know nobody really asked for it but i just wanted to tell you guys the slight changes in products that i am using now i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye